Welcome. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Estaba good evening, ahí. everyone. Hello, estaba ahí con terminando la clase del otro grupo. I'm very sorry. How many groups do you have? Right now, only two. Only the oh. one uh, from eight to nine and this one. Okay, the same level or? No, they are in one upper level than you are. They are uh -huh. in intermediate three. Okay. It's where you are going right now. <laughs> okay, probably you are going to be the- I hope that. For, uh, for the next level. I am, I am crossing <laughs> fingers to do that. I like the way you, you teach. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. I, 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 hello, Jesus. You know, I have very great students. That's why it's so easy to teach you, right? Because when you have very horrible students, no, I have never had horrible students. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I, I have always have good, good groups, good students, or I think you make the group like that. So but I, I really like Welcome everybody. Remember to have your cameras on during the complete session. It's part of a requirement of English Corporativo, so please keep it on. I also love to see your beautiful faces in the camera, right? One day I am going to ask Cesar to introduce all the dogs that he has, right? Un día nos va a presentar Cesar a todos los que nos ladran cuando les hablamos. How many dogs do you have, Cesar? Me? Hi. I have six. Six? Six, six dogs. <laughs> That's yeah. why. Six beautiful dogs. Three males and three females. Wow. So, yeah, that's why. It's like, you can all learn, Papa, you can all learn, you can all learn. This <laughs> when, <laughs> when you open the microphone. Yeah. So, but do you have like a big, a big space in your house for them to be? Yes, teacher. Very big. That, that's important, right? Yes. Because I imagine my house with six dogs. <laughs> it will be very crazy. <laughs> well, today I send you some information to your group. Did you have the opportunity to check the exercises? ¿Vieron los ejercicios que les mandé? Si sí, no, me ignoraron. Desbloqueenme, por favor. Esta ticha ahorita. Hmm. Ajá. No, teacher, no, I didn't see it. Ajá. Ahorita lo estoy viendo todo. Yes, teacher. I'm difficult. Uh, ok. Eh, Saben que en WhatsApp puedo ver quién ya lo vio y quién no lo ha visto. <laughs> I, I was checking today and I said, no, that's not from God, I said, because I am always there, like, looking for things to, to, um, to help you and investigate and all that. So, so please, whenever you have the chance to, to see it, check it out, okay? It is about... Uh, the relative clauses, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we're going to work today a little bit on the celebrations that we started yesterday, right? And we were talking about the different uh, customs, the different traditions that we have in the different celebrations. Thank you very much for all the ones who finished the platform and who reported that have already finished, right? So. Let's just remember some of the little requirements of our class. It is very, very important to practice, to ask for help if you need it, to keep your cameras on during the complete session, to attend the session on time. Thank you for being here on time. I appreciate that. Thank you for participating as much as you do it. I really like the way you do it. Uh, to keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure to collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. That is something really important. So yesterday we started talking about the celebrations, right? You were talking about your favorite, you were talking about uh, 
when the celebration takes place and everything. And we were also describing some of them. I also mentioned some of the different celebrations that we have per month, right? And I ask you to write a little bit about your favorite. You are going to use it in a moment. So here I have a little practice on vocabulary. And here I have some words that we can classify into these four categories that I have here. A special locations, activities, a special food and drink, things we give or things we receive. For example, the word anniversary, is it a special location, an activity, a special food, or a thing? A special location. A special location. It is a special occasion, right? In the case of anniversary, mm -hmm. let me just mark it here and I will do it here. Anniversary is a special occasion, right? It's a special occasion on which we celebrate or we commemorate a year of something. That's why it's called anniversary because it's annual, right? The anniversary of your wedding, the anniversary of your divorce, the anniversary of your <laughs> relationship, of your graduation, right? It's like, happy divorce, yay. <laughs> you never know, right? I can't say like that when that happens. Cake, what is cake? Uh, a special food and drink. A special food or drink. We cannot classify that as a special here in El Salvador because we have cake for all the occasions, right? Okay. Yeah, ya nacieron los perritas. Cake. <laughs> yeah, it's, we have a birthday. Cake. Uh, I don't know. Primera comunión. Cake. We have a baptism. Cake. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> it is like, ay, hoy no vamos a ver. Cake. <laughs> so... A special food or special things that we drink, that we eat or drink. Cards. What are cards? Activities. Things. Cards. Oh, cards. Card. Things. 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 Things that we give or receive. It was very common to receive cards for your birthday in the past, right? Do you remember? that people used to write these little cards and they just used to fold them and give them to you, right? Yeah, I remember. So, I have a couple of them there. Yo de ahí tengo una guardada todavía. A couple of <laughs> cards, right? That you used to receive for Valentine's. It was very, very famous for you to receive cards, right? With perfume <laughs> and kisses. <laughs> what about dancing? <laughs> Activities. It's an activity, right? Yes. Dancing. Dancing is an activity that here in El Salvador, we cannot classify it as a specific because I think only on funerals we don't dance. That's the only moment in some cases, right? Hay familias que sí, right? So we dance in the birthday parties for the weddings, for Christmas, for New Year. For 15s. For the sweet 15s, right? We dance all the time, right? Fireworks. What are fireworks? Activities or special? Activities. Activities. Special location. Okay, special fireworks, are, I think they are classified on activities because we burn fireworks. <clears throat> In which occasion do you burn fireworks? Weddings. For mm -hmm. weddings, for Christmas, Christmas. and the uh, uh, party, uh, how do you say, patrons? patrons? Ah, those are, we celebrate. those are local parties. Local Lo parties. Local mm -hmm. parties are all the different celebrations of the little towns. Todas las fiestas patronales que se hacen en los pueblos o en las ciudades, they are local parties. Okay. Parties, okay. So fireworks, yes in local parties. They are very famous, right? Flowers. Flowers. Special occasions. Um, things, things we give and things we receive. 
Yes. I think everybody loves to receive flowers. But I am very strange because I love to receive the plant, not the flowers. So I, I am kind of crazy, right? If you are going to give me roses, give me the plant of roses so I can have it forever <laughs> because the flowers are going to die. But the plant, you can keep it there with you. Así que a su esposa ya no le regale flores. Regálese la inmaceta. <laughs> so it can last longer. Aunque si no se le dan las plantas, no, désela de plástico. <laughs> it's okay. Fruit punch. Special, Special food and drink. drink, right? Like in my Sweet 15 party. Parade. Activities. Activities. In which celebrations do we have parades in El Salvador? 15th of September. For Whoa. September 15, right? Mm -hmm. For September 15, you have the parades. Now, also in December for Christmas, that you have the different parades there with, with celebrations. Yeah. What about, and also in uh, August? Uh, yeah, for August, August the celebration. Party. Yes. Parties yes. are activities, right? Activities. Presents. Things that we give or receive, right? Receive. Presents are regalos. What about rust turkey? Special, Special food. Special food and thing. Special food and drink. And when do we eat turkey? Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving and also for Christmas, right? Christmas. And wedding. Special, special occasion. It's a special occasion, right? It is a special occasion, a wedding, right? And it is a big, big event right? all the time. Excellent. That was the classification for the vocabulary. And here I have three different readings about favorite holidays. Let's go over the first one here, the lady that we have at the beginning. And I need someone to help me read it. Me. My story. Oh, sorry. Okay, Joanna, you can read the first one and Abel, you can read the second one. Go okay. ahead, Joanna. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Everyone in the family gets together at our house. I cook a large turkey and okay, I don't see. And serve and serve it with cranberry sauce. Yes. Okay. New words or new vocabulary from the first paragraph. Mm. Harvest. No. Harvest. 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 It's la cosecha. When we celebrate the harvest, okay, la colección de la cosecha, right? Todo lo, todo lo que se cosechó durante el año. You celebrate the harvest. Any other one? Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. It's an special type of uh, sauce that they do with uh, this. How do you call this in Spanish? It's zarzamora. No, it's not zarzamora. Arandano. Arandanos. Right. Arandano. Cranberry sauce. You know, I was I was in in Arkansas for Thanksgiving last year. Well, and we had this celebration. And when I said like, oh, cranberry sauce, I think it's very delicious, I said. It sounds delicious. And when I was like, eh, 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 <laughs> the turkey, right? <laughs> it is so sour that I, I just remember it and I just get all my teeth stuck, right? Es como, como que mordieras una guinda. Así, así normal, sin sal. Ya han, mm. probado, ya han probado la guinda, pena. 
it's yes. not sweet, teacher? It, it is, no, it, it is depending on the type of cranberries. And those were very sour. Eso sí estaba un poco ácido. And I was like, mm, very delicious. <laughs> This sauce. There are some. There are other types of cranberry sauce that are sweet and delicious, but maybe this one, my first experience, mm -mm, was not that good. So, but I, I really thought they were very sweet, but no. So that it's a cranberry sauce. It's como como tipo mermelada se veía, pero no sabía mermelada. So you have to be very careful. Number two, February fourteenth, Abel. Okay, February 14th is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I am really looking forward to Valentine's Day this year. I already have the perfect gift for my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. He was like <laughs> on the move, right? Uh -huh. It's the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to means it's like, lo estoy esperando. I am really looking forward to Valentine's Day this year. I already have the perfect gift for my boyfriend. So this is Valentine's. What about the last one? In the last category, I am going to ask Eduardo Jose to help me with this one. I can't wait until the end of the year. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a party at, at some, someone's, someone's house. house. We stay up all night and they go and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay, exactly like what I do. <laughs> You know, I have a tradition with my husband that we go to Mr. Donuts on January 1st in the morning, early in the morning. <laughs> we are there like, buenas. <laughs> because we are just tired of pan con chumper, right? So we go to <laughs> a breakfast in Mr. Donuts every new year, exactly like his story. New words or new vocabulary? From this one? Eve, Eve is víspera, New Year's Eve. It's víspera de año nuevo, New Year's Eve. We stay up all night. It's like nos quedamos despiertos toda la noche. And then we go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay, so let's see here. I have the three conversations. Where, where can you find the word... Okay, le voy a dar una palabra y ustedes me dan la frase en la que está o la oración en la que está. Where is the word gift? The second Valentine's. Valentine's. Ah, give me the sentence. Give me the sentence. I already have the perfect gift for my boyfriend. I already have the perfect gift for my boyfriend. Okay, for, for your girlfriend. For your girlfriend. <laughs> I already oh. have the perfect gifts. What about the next one? Uh, turkey. On Thanksgiving. I, I cook a large turkey and serve it with cranberry sauce. Okay, I cook a large turkey. Turkey. The next one. Parents. <laughs> Present. Sorry. <laughs> Present. I was uh, thinking of my, I was thinking <laughs> of my parents. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Presents. When people give, give presents, the the very good to the ones they love. Wait. I can wait until the end of the year. Very good. The next one, harvest. harvest. North Americans celebrate the harvest. Very wow. good. The next one, when. When I have fun with my friends. When I have fun with my friends, we have three wins. When people give cards and presents. And? 
in today when North Americans very very good. So in this case, the relative clause that we have here is with when, and we have a Thanksgiving. In Thanksgiving, you say it's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14 is the day when people give cards and presents. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Okay, so in this case, you use them as uh, for you to describe, right? And you say, for example, it's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Es cuando celebramos la cosecha. Es cuando damos tarjetas. Es cuando celebramos el año nuevo. So that is the meaning of when in this case. Here, I have a short explanation for you. And it says, relative clauses of time. Relative clauses of time refer to a time, a date, or a moment previously mentioned. Okay? They are usually introduced by the verb be. Like, for example, Halloween is a day when kids play tricks or treat. Holy Week is a time when family and I, when my family and I have a reflection time about God, right? That it's Holy Week. Holy Week. What about the next one? February 14. February 14 is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. Okay, that's the definition of that. What about the next one? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Let me just move it a little bit up. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Okay, so... In this case, we use it to join the sentence and also to give extra information about. Because if I ask you, for example, Halloween, what is Halloween, people? You say, Halloween is a day when kids play trick or treat. What is an anniversary, people? Anniversary is a day. It's a day or day, day. people celebrate uh -huh. um, a special one, month, one year. Okay, very good question. When you say it's a day or a date, you say, what is an anniversary? An anniversary is a date when it's people a celebrate an event, right? Or you can say an anniversary is a day when, when you commemorate and a special occasion, right? What is a, a birthday? What is Your a birthday? It's a day when the people celebrate a year. Okay, when the people celebrate year or when the people when people celebrate the day they were born. What is the pupusas day, people? What is the pupusas day? It's a day when yeah, people pupusas and don't have <laughs> okay it, without guilt, right? Yeah. It is it is a special day when you can eat pupusas without feeling guilty, right? What is Independence Day, people? September 15th is a day. It's a day when, when, when we stop to be a when slave. They, <laughs> when we stop being a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I love, you, you I love that. Freedom. When we celebrate freedom, yay. I, I love your definitions, right? Very, very exotic definitions. <laughs> I was expecting like, it's a day when you go on parades on the streets. It's a day when you celebrate Teacher Nati's birthday. It's a day when you send flowers to Teacher Nati. <laughs> so it's my birthday and no one remembers it. Eso es lo malo de cumplir años en un festivo. Todos al final de la noche así como, ay, qué chivo los desfiles, babo. Ah, chivo, ya el cumpleaños de la noche. <laughs> Nobody celebrates your birthday. <laughs> no, it's so sad. And because you have vacation, I don't go to work. I don't work. So, and it's like later, it's like, ah, ayer fue tu cumple, <laughs> And it's like, yes. <laughs> so it, it happens, but I like it. I have a, a day off that day. 
So here we have some more examples. Thanksgiving is a day. When? When North Americans celebrate the harvest. harvest. February 14 is the day. When people, when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is a night. When, when I have, I have fun, fun with, with my friends. friends. When, when I, have I have fun, fun with, my with my friends. Very good. Now, here we have a couple of definitions that we need to match with the other part. It says, a uh, we have New Year's Day, April Fool's, May and June, Valentine's Day, Labor Day, and February. <clears throat> this was on the platform. Mm -hmm. New Year's Day is a day when people have, people have, have parties, parties with, family. with family and friends. People have families, <laughs> parties with family and friends. Okay. Ya cuando uno se enamora, se le traban las palabras. So you have to be very careful. Don't fall in love. April Fools is the day when people sometimes play tricks on friends. People sometimes play tricks on friends. There you go. What about May and June? Many young adults choose to get married. Many young adults choose to get married, right? Here in El Salvador, no, because it's raining. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love, 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 love to someone. People express their love to someone. Only that day, right? Labor Day. People in many countries are not workers. People in many countries honor workers. Very good. February is the month when? Brazilians celebrate the carnival, right? Very good job. So there you have it. And here you are, sorry? Carnival and carnival is the same. It's the same, right? It is like a, the, the form of the British and English word, right? Carnival, carnival, it's the same. So. It depends on if you are using British or uh, American English, but the meaning is the same. The carnival and carnival pronunciation is different, but the meaning is the same. So no problem with that one. I have here some other examples. Winter is the season. The spring. Winter is the season. How can you complete this one? When I see it, no, no. <laughs> when I say out, when it's rain, 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 rain. okay. <laughs> when all the flowers bloom, yes, let me just share it again. Winter is the season when it rains a lot in El Salvador, yes, when it rains. Every day. Okay, winter is the season when it rains every day. Winter is the season when I get sick. Winter is the season when we use our umbrellas. Winter is the season when I see the leaks in my house. Do you know what's the meaning of leaks? <laughs> Goteras. La goteras, right? Winter <laughs> is the season of the guacales, right? <laughs> you never know how many guacales do you have until winter, right? Hasta ahí te das cuenta cuántos guacales existen en tu casa. Winter <laughs> is the season when I fight with my dog. You know, my dog loves water. Kiara loves water. So winter is the season when I am like, Yara, 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 because she goes to the patio when it's raining. It's a big fight that I always have. Birthdays are days. What do we do on the birthdays? The when people, people celebrate. When people celebrate. When people eat cake. When people celebrate. When people. 
that when they, people, when they people work. have parties, when people eat cake. What else? People celebrate yeah. with family when and friends. When people receive celebrate receive with family. Gifts. When people dance. When people receive yeah. gifts. Very good. Do you like birthdays? No, mm. Yes, I like my birthdays. <laughs> Do you like surprise parties? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I love that no. It was like, no. We always say that. Always. Díganme quién no lo ha dicho. No, no me hagan nada. Yo no quiero nada para mi cumpleaños. No quiero que nadie me ande celebrando. No quiero fiestecitas. No quiero pastel. No quiero nada. Uh -huh. So at the day of your birthday, you are like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm worried about getting older. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I tell you, right? Enjoy, enjoy during your, your time. How old are you right now? Um, 30, 30, 33. <laughs> I remember when I was 33. Long ago. Many years ago. <laughs> Many years ago, I was 33. Young and happy. <laughs> Cuiden su rodilla. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> su espalda. Tomen agua. Uh, <laughs> Spring is the time of the year when? Uh -huh. On flower. On flowers. Bloom. Bloom. What is the meaning of bloom? Bloom. They open. Oh. Florecen. Florecen. No. no florecen, florecen. Florecen. <laughs> Cuando las flores perecen. Cuando las flores perecen. No hacen boom. <laughs> no hacen boom. Hacen boom and they disappear. You know, uh, I love, I love February and March. Well, mostly February. Because of the Makilis yeah. Watts. I love Makilis Watts. Too. I love Makilis Watts. I think that's my favorite really season, is, yeah. right? That's my favorite season in El Salvador. When I see all the Cortes Blancos and all the Makilis Watts in bloom, mm -hmm. that's perfect. So, Mother's Day. Okay. Mother's Day is a day when? When the people. Celebrate restaurant. When people hmm. go to eat to a restaurant, right? <laughs> yeah. When people celebrate their mothers. Uh, a party surprise for right. their mothers. Okay. When people create surprise parties for the mothers, right? When you can say oh, Mother's yeah. Day is a day when, when people presents the mothers okay when people give presents to their mothers right to their mothers it is crazy this day everybody wants to go to the restaurant and the poor mother never eats so it's like nah mm -hmm. july yeah. and august are the months of the julius and fiesta agostina <laughs> Oh. Okay, July and August are the months when Salvadorian celebrate uh, uh, local parties. Okay, and, and my birthday is too. Oh, okay, and oh, Nidia's yes. birthday. <laughs> yes. we, so July and August are the months when we celebrate Nidia's birthday. July and August are the months when celebrate when Salvadorians celebrate local parties because we have in Santa Ana and in San Salvador. A wedding anniversary is a time when? When the couple. When the couple. Partners, people go, go celebrate. To eat. A restaurant? Okay, when partners, when, when the couple goes to a restaurant. And here, 
and another get together. When the couple celebrate, when another the couple year. celebrates together. another right. year together. together. Year together. An extra year without a divorce. Anniversary. Now, I need you to create two examples. You have six, seven examples there. So create two original examples. Escribanme dos. Me lo pueden mandar al chat. You can send it on the chat. Okay. Create your own examples. You can take any celebration, any day, any special occasion. Send it to the chat so we can check it. Thank you. Mother's Day is a day when I give presents to my mother. Yes. A wedding anniversary is a time when the wife gets mad because her partner forgot it. Hey, Angel, come on. Okay, a wedding anniversary is a time when the wife gets mad because her partner forgot it was that day, right? That's so sad. When the partner forgot the date. It's sad, but it's true. I know. <laughs> but now, in, here in our country, ladies are very smart. They say like, Ay, ya ha sido otro aniversario, vea, en dos días. <laughs> and then you start like, like remembering because you know they forget. Winter is the season when you cannot forget your umbrella. Yes, September 15 is a day when Salvadorian people celebrate their freedom. Hey, Gabriela. Mother's Day is a day when I give roses to my mom. Very good. <laughs> and it's curious, Jesus, because we always forget the umbrella. Children's Day is a day when, okay, Children's Day is a day when a very parties. Here, when, okay, let me just copy here. Children's Day is a day when. Many, many, many. Many, many yes. Many parties. Many parties. For children. Okay, even when we know that it, it's a it's a children's day, we know that it's for children, but we don't respect that. <laughs> Holy Week is a week when people go to church or to the beach. <laughs> yes, Eduardo. Depending, right? Depending the feeling. Baby shower is a day when a lady tells us if her baby will be a boy or a girl. Very good, says that. Now that they have this, uh, like, the cake, the balloon, the thing, the, so it's like, ya diga de una vez. <laughs> and then you have like, no, it's a girl, it's a boy. All right, let's see, the baby shower. Good examples, people. 
Remember at the beginning of the sentence, you have to use capital letter, okay? It is important. In July, okay, July is the month when I celebrate the birthday of my second song, you say, here in the case of Nidia, I am correcting this one. July, right? Remember the capital? July is the month when, and after when you have to use a subject, right? When I celebrate the birthday of my second song or my second song's birthday. Okay, there you go. I have six more messages. Let's see. And Easter day is a day when people go to church to pray, reflect, and, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a refraction, I think a refraction is not that one. <laughs> reflect, and, okay. yeah, gratitude, it's with. And express, and express gratitude. And express gratitude, right, but. Gratitude. There you go. Uh, wedding day is a day when two people come together and form a family. Oh, yes. December and February. February, Joanna? February. Okay. December and February are the dates when I celebrate the birthday of my children, right? When I celebrate the birthday of my children. Good examples, people. You see, it was very good use of the relative clauses of time. Here, let's move on a little bit. Thank you very much for all the examples. And I am going to go here with a special days. And it says, choose a special day, choose your favorite holiday and tell your partner why you like each of them. This is what I asked you to do yesterday, right? Choose your favorite holiday and you are going to talk for a couple of minutes about it and you are going to tell us the different activities that you do that day, okay? So for example, if you say, well, my favorite uh, celebration or my favorite day is my birthday because I have a little meeting with my family and we celebrate and we talk and we eat cake, etc. right? So I need you to tell me about your special day and what do you do that day, okay? In a very, in very few words, right? What do you do on that special celebration, okay? So we are going to work in trios, okay? Vamos a hacer trios ahorita. Y vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de ese día especial. We're going to talk about your special day. When is it? Uh, what do you do? And why do you like it? For example, I can say that my favorite day of the year is uh, Christmas because I have the chance to go and visit my family. We cook, we eat together, we have party, we celebrate, we dance, and we have this special time together. So that's why it's my special day. That's my example. And that's what you are going to do with your partners. We're going to do this in a couple of minutes, like around five minutes. So please take good advantage of the time. We're going to make the groups right now. Groups of three. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to work right now. Let me open the groups. Okay, so accept my invitation and talk about your special day. Okay, uh, Reinita, please accept the invitation. Elvira, Ruth. 
Can you please accept my invitations? Samuelito, I know you can be as a listener, but you can enter to the group so you can check on what they are doing. Okay. Si pueden entrar al grupo, aunque sea de oyentes, porfa, hagámoslo. Okay. Thank you. Elvira and Reinita. Thank you. I read your message, Reina. Puedes entrar al grupo, Reina, para que al menos puedas este, eh, escuchar lo que están compartiendo tus compañeros. En Elvira. Are you there? Presente. Elvira, la mandé al grupo. Ok, perdón, tengo trabajo, Miss. Don't worry. Excuse me. Don't worry. Ok, Reinita. I will send it again to you. Se la reenvié. Samuelito, ¿qué pasó? Me lo sacó. Hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> okay. And tell me, Ceci, what is Catherine's special day? Uh, the special day uh, of Catherine is like Christmas and New Year. Because okay. we join with all of relatives. We cook a special food. We see movie with the family and, and all of things okay. we can do with with the family. Okay, you get together. You say you get together with the family. You we join? Get, no, right? You get together. We get together. And we watch movies. We watch movies. We watch movies. Okay. What about Ceci, Catherine? What can you tell me? And uh, the special day with Ceci is Merry Christmas and New Year's too. <laughs> okay. uh, because she spent time with family, with your family. With her family? With her family. And eat a lot of food. <laughs> okay, and she eats a lot of food, right? She eats a lot of food. When you say she spends time with her family, because in that case, if you say she spends time with your family, it's my family, right? So we have to be very careful with the use oh, yeah. of that. Okay, you can continue exchanging a little bit more information. I will check on the last group. Aha. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Favorite holidays of the group? In my case, my favorite uh, holiday is um, Mother's Day. <laughs> Due to the fact I'm a mom, it's a special day uh, when uh, I go visit to my mother, uh, give flowers, uh, eat cake, 
because we are uh, celebrating that we are uh, mothers. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool when you become a mother because you give, it, it is kind of strange because you celebrate your mother, but you celebrate yourself and you want to celebrate, but you have to celebrate your mother first. So it's, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of curious, right? It's like, hey, pero yo. <laughs> and then your mother says, I was first. And then it's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about Gabriela's favorite holiday? Which one, which is Gabriela's special date? I like uh, Christmas because I can spend uh, the whole night with my family. We just watch movies or just talk about the life. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, the day to be nicely dressed in the sofa. <laughs> because you change your clothes and everything and you look very elegant and you go and sit and watch TV and to be on TikTok or on Facebook or whatever. <laughs> and then at 12, you stand up and it's like, Merry Christmas and everything. And then you continue watching TV. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy day. What about Carlita Fabiola? Carlita, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo se siente? Carlita Fabiola, Carlita Fabiola. Ah, my favorite holiday is the Three Kings Day, she says on the chat. She sent it on the chat. And Angel Alejandro, what is your favorite? My favorite uh, day is the uh, MT1. Uh, it's uh, August. It's, it's an, uh, uh huh. La semana de descanso de August. Ah, yeah. It's like the 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 like the free week that we the have in August, time. right? Yes. yes. Be because I can have a reset of all week and I can sleep, CTV, and I can go with my family and forget about the university. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it it is it is very curious about the holidays, right? I am going to share something when we come back. Let's go back to the main session right now. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we will continue right here. Okay, thank you very much for sharing on the different groups. Thank you for uh, also expressing your different special days and your favorite holidays. So who knows, who knows about Nidia's favorite holiday? En, estuvo conmigo José, creo que Abel. Ajá, so José en Abel, tell me. ¿Cómo se llama el otro niño? No me acuerdo. Éramos cuatro. I'm oh, sorry. Lo pide. Hello. Ah, yes. Um, Eduardo me, José. Uh, I'm sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. The birthday of his children. Her children. Her children. Yeah, la venganza. <laughs> <laughs> The birthday of her I children. Did it on purpose. Yeah, you did it on purpose, right? Because like el, el I'm otro sorry. Niño. I, am, I am not going to call him Eduardo anymore. It's like el otro niño. <laughs> but that's cool, Eduardo. You, you, you look younger. Como lo vio jovencito y todo, ya le queda el otro niño. What about what about Isabel? Who was with Isabel? What is Isabel's favorite holiday? Uh -huh. She doesn't prefer holiday, but she likes and Holy Week and the Christmas. Holy Week and Christmas, very good. Because she can, yeah, she can uh, cook. Okay, oh, you like to cook, Isabel? Yes, teacher, I cook in Christmas. Oh, nice. Okay. So for Christmas, everybody go to Isabel's Preparing house. Preparing delicious <laughs> cake, fruits. 
<laughs> wow, you see all the different hidden talents that you I have. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, invited Cesar and me. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. We, we can go, right? And if you want to take me, invite me, right? We can go there. So, eh, before everything happens, right? Antes de pasar al siguiente medio temita que le voy a dejar ahí para investigar, I will call the attendance, okay? Antes que nada suceda. Before everything. Okay, here I go. Okay, okay. Let me just open it. What's going on with this? Here we go. Okay. This is doing whatever he or she wants. Okay, favorite holidays. It's a very interesting thing. Ah, that's why. <laughs> okay. Now it's open. Alejandra Beatriz? I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Here I go. Alejandra, right? Eh, Angel Alejandro? I'm here, teacher. Cecilia de Los Angeles? Here, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe? Great, teacher. Thank you. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo Jose. Present, teacher. Elvira. Present, teacher. Ever Ernesto. Evercito. Forever and ever, he's not here. Hey, Ever, what's going on? Gabriela Michelle. Present. Isabel? Present teacher. Jenny? Present teacher. Joana Yesenia? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Present teacher. We miss you yesterday, Mr. Daniel. Carla Fabiola? Thank you. <laughs> Me, she said. Catherine Alejandra? Present teacher. Miguel Angel? Miguelito? Miguelito se nos fue a pasear. Ok. Nidia. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Thank you, Reina. Ruth Elizabeth. Ruth. Sí. Present teacher. Thank you. Present, present. Thank you, sweetie. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. I'm here, teacher. And Jancy Astrid. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you, my dear students, before we go. Well, for uh, just before we finish, I am going to share the last one here. And about the adverbial clauses of time that we were also doing. And we are going to work a little bit in deep on this one. So in this case, the adverbial clause of time goes at the beginning. So you can use it like that as well. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and the groom give presents, right? In this case, the adverbial clause of time goes at the beginning, right? On the contrary of what we were studying before, right? That you use the relative clause of time uh, after the word day, right? It's a day when, it's a situation when. In this case, we have it at the beginning of the sentence, when, after, and before, right? When, uh, before a man and a woman get married, they usually date each other for a couple of years, right? In this case, we use it at the beginning of the sentence. When a couple gets engaged, the man gives a ring. Right after a couple gets engaged, they plan the celebration. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the celebration. When uh, people are invited to a wedding, they almost always bring gifts, right? Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a honeymoon, right? In this case, all these words that are at the beginning, before, when, right, are adverbial clauses of time because they express, right? Antes que esto pase, 
Cuando esto pasa, justo cuando esto sucede, right? That is the use of these words. And we are going to check them out a little bit and you can check it on the reading of the manual, okay? En el manual tienen una lectura donde pueden eh, verla ya en uso. So we are going to use the reading. So please check the reading on your manual. I am going to send the picture What's if you don't have it. Old page teacher. I think it is 17, but I will check it. I will send the complete picture for you to mm -hmm. have it, okay? For you to practice okay. during the weekend. I am going to see you on Monday. Remember, tomorrow we don't have classes. You can go to church. You can go to El Via Cruces <laughs> without me. So please, uh, I will see you on Monday. Continue practicing. Check the practice that I send you, okay? Ahí en la práctica que les envié van esos dos temas. So have a wonderful night and I will see you on Monday for the next class. Take okay. care. Have a good night. Monday. Okay, Monday. teacher. I see you Monday. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye Thank you, Edgar. Bye. Enjoyed your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care.